right now. Lower gas prices, great for our wallets, but not all great news. How it's having a negative ripple effect on the economy. Plus, a man found dead in KCK. The clue police found just a couple miles away that's now helping them with that investigation. And horseplay on a school bus gone too far? Why police say there's more to that story. That's ahead on 41 Action News at 5. But we begin this show with breaking news. Thanks, JD. Well, it's been more than a decade since drivers have seen gas prices this low. But it may not be good news for everyone. 41 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie has a look at some of the negative implications of these low gas prices. Well, we found gas as low as 114 a gallon in some parts of the metro. You can find the cheapest gas in your neighborhood by visiting our website at kshb.com slash gas prices. Right now, an unusual death investigation in KCK. Police officers found the body of a man in a ditch early this morning on 107th Street near Donahue Road. Officers first thought it might be a homicide because the man looked like he'd been badly beaten. But then they found a wrecked SUV about two miles up the road. Police believe the 35-year-old man wrecked the car and then tried to walk down the road before dying from his injuries or the cold. Police were able to find the family of that driver and speak with them. Republican presidential nominees are preparing for their final debate before the South Carolina primary election. The debate will take place at the Peace Center in Greenville. That starts at 8 o'clock tonight. The latest polls show Donald Trump in the lead in South Carolina with 36 percent. Senators Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio are in a battle for second place at 19 percent and 15 percent respectively. Followed then by Jeb Bush, John Kasich and Ben Carson. 41 Action News is teaming up with the website PolitiFact for tonight's debate. They'll be fact checking the candidate's statements. So look for those reports tonight on 41 Action News at 10. The U.S. State Department released 500 more emails of Hillary Clinton's work-related emails from her time as Secretary of State. The pages released today brings the total number of pages released to more than 45,000. The State Department said none of the emails were marked confidential at the time they were sent. Earlier this week, a federal judge ordered Clinton's remaining emails be released by the end of the month. Sheriff's deputies in Great Bend, Kansas, are investigating a possible hazing incident on a school bus. It started last Saturday as the Great Bend High School swim team returned from a meet. The sheriff says what started as horseplay quickly went out of hand, and as many as four people were hurt. One parent says her son traumatized. She did not want to reveal her identity, but she did speak on camera. The sheriff says it will be up to the Ellsworth County prosecutor whether to file any criminal charges. Two earthquakes hit Oklahoma today, and even some people here in the metro say they felt the ground shake. The first earthquake, a 5.1 magnitude, hit in northwest Oklahoma around 11 this morning. Then a second, a smaller earthquake, hit the same area about 10 minutes later. Today's 5.1 earthquake is the third strongest ever recorded in Oklahoma. Well, as concerns grow over the Zika virus, Brazil says it's doing all it can to fight it. The efforts starting today to get that virus under control. And dozens of kids getting their teeth checked for free. Why one local dentist is making it his mission to help. That's still ahead on 41 Action News. Well, going to the dentist isn't as scary as you think. That's the message one local doctor is showing his younger patients. For the past 28 years, Dr. Robert Marks has been offering free dental exams as a way to give back to his Gladstone community. One day a year, his Have a Heart Day offers balloons and a festive atmosphere for children. A clown also there, as well as the chief's mascot, KC Wolf. The kids get a free cleaning and exam. Then the dentist lays out a plan for the child's possible dental needs. If you're looking for something to do this weekend indoors, since it's a little bit cold, you might want to stop by the Midwinter Art Fair. That's happening until 9 o'clock tonight at the Ward Parkway Shopping Center. Organizers say it's the oldest indoor art and first major art event of the year. And most of the artwork is from local artists. The event also open tomorrow from noon until 530.